Hey, welcome. This is Scott from Scott Tindall's Home Shop on location. And so I'm just up here at my mother in law's house and we had to replace some pickets on the stairs. This is all temporary. The um, the pickets were all put on wrong many, many, many years ago. And as you can see, we we stiffened it up. This is just screwed into the handrail. It's going to be a planter setting up here, but it's double duty. This is a pocket, got blind pocket screw holes in it right here. And uh, I wish I hadn't put one on top. That just opens up a penetration for water. And so we, we did all that. And we put that little brace in there because this post is... Um, just nailed to the top. It's not done right. We know that. We know it's not done right. But it's, it's sturdy. I'm a, you know, I've got a 300 pound gorilla jack jerk snatching on it and it's not moving. And we going to redo that because I'm afraid somebody's toes might get up under it. But that's just helping support the treads. Even though they're two by they had a little bounce to them. And so. And we screwed the pickets on the outside. Should have put a board on the outside of them. And but so we stiffened up the handrail. And yes, the handrails are out of whack. We're gonna next year we're gonna redo the stairs, the handrail, we're gonna set these posts in concrete, new stairs. These posts will go all the way through the deck down into the ground. Let's post right there, and it's all this handrail is going to be all completely redone properly. But this is just what we had to do today. Just uh, um, put up, you know, we changed out all the old rotten pickets that were nailed to the top of the stairs treads. They were nailed right here, you know, and right there, and either four inches on center. I mean, four inches in between them. And yes, if you get down like here, you can really see the handrails out of whack. That's because this post is leaning back. Not this one on my hands on, but the one I'm pointing at. That one right there. But it's it's rock solid, steady. And when we get it done next year, we're going to come back. The whole family's going to chip in. We're going to chip in some money. My brother-in-law's going to chip in some money. Mother-in-law is going to chip in some money. We're going to completely go from from over here all the way around to over there. Put the handrails on properly. We're actually going to lower the roof down on this end right out here about six inches to increase the pitch. And uh, might even box it in. I don't know yet. But... Uh, I know this isn't the code, but we just, you know, just just a stabilizing job until we can get some money up. And so there it is. And yes, I realize that, that right there is a toe damage uh, where you can get your toe hung. He's going to come back up here tomorrow and stick a two before from that one down to the back side of each one of the treads and screw it all together. So you can't stick your foot in there. Alright, so let me get over here and those right there are just to help stiffen that corner up and serve as a base for a planter box to set on. There you go. Alright. This has been a little quick on location shoot. So like and subscribe if you want to. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell. Check out my other YouTube channel videos on my, other, on my YouTube channel. I only have one channel, Scott Tindall's Home Shop, so check those out. And that's our little weekend project. And again, and I know that's a trip hazard that will be fixed tomorrow. That will be closed in from that point down behind each one. So there you go. You handrail on that side and pick it. You uh
port under this one. Double screwed at top and bottom. All right. Bye.